Hi, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this video, you will learn how to create hand drawing chart effect in PowerPoint 2013. The neat little animation trick in PowerPoint you will learn today looks like this. As you can see, first we see two axes on the slide. Then on a click, I have a hand that comes and draws my line chart. Beautiful, isn't it? This is a proper data-driven chart and you can manipulate the chart just the way you would with any other PowerPoint chart like you right-click, go to edit data and then you make your changes to the workbook here that appears along with uh, the chart. So in every way this is a proper PowerPoint chart only that we have added the extra power of this hand coming in and drawing the chart. Now let us see how to create this beautiful effect from scratch. The first step is to draw your line chart. So it is going to be just like any other line chart. I'm not going to show you how to create a line chart from scratch because I assume that you might be knowing that already. This video is about how to add that hand drawing the chart animation. For that I am going to use this graphic which has a hand with a pen. So this is the graphic that is going to help us create this effect and I'm going to have this position right at the start of the line chart. So it is perfectly in line with where we want it. Then I'm going to have this graphic trace the path of this line chart. For that all I'm going to do is to go to animations tab in PowerPoint ribbon, open the drop down menu Click on the custom path in motion paths here. As soon as I did that, you can see that my cursor now has turned into crosshairs. I am going to now trace by clicking and dragging my cursor along the path of uh, the line chart. As you can see here, wherever I see a turn, I am going to click and I am just going to trace the path by continuously clicking on all the points along the line chart. And once I'm done, I'm going to double click. And now you can see that my hand traces the chart. It's beautiful. Now the next step is to add animation to the chart. So I'm going to select the chart here and I'm going to go to animation tab in PowerPoint ribbon. Then go to the animation event that I want, which is wipe animation. And I'm going to change the effect option from left. So this is how the animation is going to happen. And as you can see here, the entire chart is getting animated. I don't want it that way. I want only the line to be animated and I want the chart background to, to remain without any animation. So we need to make those adjustments. And the way we do that is to go to the animation event in animation pane, go to the small arrow to the right of the animation event, go to effect options. And here, one of the tabs that you see here is chart animation. Here it says group chart and it says as one object. We want this animation to happen by series because this is a series that needs to be animated. And then you have the option here which says start animation by drawing the chart background. I'm going to uncheck this because I don't want this chart background to be animated first. I want it to be there on the slide without animation. So I have unchecked it and I'm going to say OK. Now only this animation plays as you can see. Now I need to match the timing of this animation with the animation of my hand. So I am going to increase the animation duration. I can click and drag this to match or I can go here and I say this is two seconds and therefore this also has to be for two seconds and I'm going to hit enter. So you can choose any of the ways to match the animation timing. Then the next step is to decide on how we are going to have this hand enter and exit the scene. So I'm going to select the object here. I'm going to add animation. I'm not going to choose any of the animations here now because that would replace the existing animation that is already there on this uh, hand. So let me go to add animation and this time the hand is going to enter the scene with float in option. So you can see that is how the hand enters the scene. 
and then we are going to have another animation added to this hand so let us go to add animation and say fly out animation so that is how the anim the hand is going to leave the scene so we have these many animation events now it is time to decide the order of animation naturally the first animation that needs to happen is the hand entering the scene which is the third event listed here so i'm going to click and move this to the top of the options here so this is the first event the hand entering the scene after the hand enters the scene we need to have the motion path animation happen so i am going to select this custom path animation and say it has to happen after previous so first the hand enters the scene and after that the custom motion path is going to happen while the motion path happens we need to have the line getting animated as well so i am going to say this has to happen with previous and then once all these animation events have happened we need the hand to exit the scene so we are going to say after previous now to once again quickly go through these four animation events on the first click we need to have the hand enter the scene after that the hand is going to move along the line and while that happens we need to have the line chart animated and after that the hand exits the scene so that is how the animation events are planned now let us go to the slideshow mode and see how these events play out now you can see that we have the slide background available on the slide without any animation then on a click my hand enters the scene and then it draws the line chart and the animation happens now you can see that there is a slight mismatch in the timing of the hand and the line chart even though both of them have the same duration can you guess what is the reason for that aberration the reason is you would see now i go to the small arrow button here right next to this particular uh, event which is the custom motion path event i'm going to go here and go to effect options and here is the culprit you can see that there is a smooth start and smooth end automatically added by powerpoint which messes up the whole thing so let us go here and say 0 seconds for this and 0 seconds for this so there is no smooth start and no smooth end and now when we say okay and go to the animation slideshow mode and see how the animation plays on a click my hand enters the scene and now you can see that it is matching the animation pretty beautifully if needed we can make a few minor adjustments to the timing so that the match happens even better so let us go to the hand animation and then make this happen slightly faster instead of 2 seconds let us have the duration uh, as 1.75 seconds and now let us see how this animation plays when we go to the slideshow mode when i click you can see that the hand comes and then the animation happens far more smoothly where there is a clear match between the timing of the hand and the chart animation so that is how you create this beautiful hand drawing chart effect in powerpoint 2013 i hope you really liked the tutorial you saw in this video if you did then you will really love our 25 creative ideas email course you will get daily email lessons for 5 days with tips and techniques in powerpoint you can implement readily you will be able to access videos downloads and examples to learn easily and thoroughly so click on this red button here and start your free course now and i'll see you inside the email course